I wanted to go over <laughs> throwing things around. Cut, take two. Okay, a lot of people have been asking me about steel braided hose, how to install it, how to work with it. They're familiar with using the nylon stuff, the stuff you get on a new truck, but they've been asking, hey, I wanna upgrade my truck, get rid of my problems, how do I use this? First off, the things you wanna know are your common sizes. Now, this, I like to use SAE, there's JIC. You have your quarter inch line, that's number four. Then you go up, you got a six, you got an eight that I currently don't have, and then you got a 10 or a 12. Personally, I like using four, six, all the way up and 10. The main difference here between your sizes is the volume of air that you can flow through. If you need to move, use, move a lot of air quickly, use a big size. A little bit of air, use a little size. Number four, I would use that for an auxiliary piece of thing. Say, if I got a gauge on the dash, I'm just gonna run a number four line to the dash. Number six, that's your a good general use line. Half inch line, that's your main line, say going from your air compressor to your tank, your tank to your quick release valve for the brakes. Number six was a good pilot line. So you really just kind of replace with whatever you were gonna run with a plastic size, just go to that same size with that. One thing about these threads, you'll notice there's a little bit of thread in there. That thread is what makes it bite into the hose. And instead of it being right hand tightened like a normal groove, it's actually left hand tightened. So you gotta put it on lefty tighty instead of lefty loosey. The reason for that is that when you thread this other end in, it pulls it tight into the hose instead of it loosening off the hose. So that's the reason why. So if you're fighting it, I know the first time I ever did weatherhead fittings, I was fighting it. I'm like, how come I can't get this on? It's because I found out after my dad told me that it was left hand tightened and I felt kind of dumb. So I'm letting you know so you don't feel dumb like I did. Your dad told me too the other day. Yeah, yeah, everyone gets that wrong. Yeah. There, you just snug her up all the way and there is no way that that is coming off. There's no way that that's gonna leak. This is gonna be foolproof for a very, very long time. Do it once, do it right, don't have to do it again. Nice thing about these weatherhead fittings, they're completely reusable. You take them out, you pull them out. It doesn't flow well for the video. You can totally take these out, pop them off, reuse them, set them aside. So if you gotta link the holes, where you gotta crimp it, cut it, you can just take these fittings off, put them back on. They're reusable, you can throw them aside, take them off, put them on. It's absolutely a nice way to do it. It's field serviceable and I really, really like field serviceable equipment. Those compression fittings, you use them once, they're done. The push locks, they fill up with dirt, sand. They basically are a one and done by the time they corrode, fill up. These ones, these can last 10 years, five years on a truck before they start rusting to the point where you gotta throw them out. These ones, are older than Sid. Yeah, at that point, you can't reuse them anymore, but that's been on a truck for 30 years. For five to 10 years, absolutely go with this. With that, you have your connections. These are what you call weatherhead ends, weather, weatherhead fittings. You'll notice on there, it's got a little bevel. That bevel there connects up with that hose. That bevel gives you an airtight fit. Now, if you compare that to, say, these nylon hoses, push connects, you're gonna take a push connect, you're gonna shove it in there. That's how it works. You go to pull it out. You gotta push it back, you just push it back in, you pull it out. People love these, they're easy to install. No, sorry, people don't love them. Manufacturers love them because all you gotta do is take it, cut it, push it in there, done. But you know what? If you have a look inside, those plastic things, how long do you think that's gonna take before it leaks? Have a look at the thinness. Let's take a look at the different sizes of the tubes. Your nylon versus your steel braided. Take a guess, which one's gonna last longer on your truck? Now, yes, you are gonna pay a little bit more. It's about a dollar fifty, two dollars a foot for this stuff. But if you were to add up your time, and how much is downtime does it take before your 10 cents, 20 cents a foot to two dollars a foot really makes a difference. One hour of breakdown. Now you're looking at running 100 feet of airline. One hour of breakdown time in a truck pays that extra 200 bucks for the line. Literally, just a one hour breakdown. Now you think you're out in the field, you gotta call a service truck out if you don't have the fittings, or your driver's gotta get under there and fix it, downtime on the truck, service call out fees. For the extra couple hundred bucks, this is worth it if you're gonna replace the line. To do an entire truck, 
head to toe, everything's said and done, you're probably looking at about $4,000, $5,000 doing it yourself. It's expensive, but it's worth it hands down. The other style for the nylon compared to just the simple push connect is that you have your compression fittings. Now, a lot of guys like this, this is the most immediate upgrade. If you don't wanna upgrade your nylon to steel braided, what you can do is you can upgrade your nylon to a compression fitting. I dropped it. Basically, what you do with these compression fittings, you put your end cap over your nylon, then you put your locking collar over top of that, then you take the insert, slide it into it, recessed. This, when you tighten it up, compresses that fitting into the nylon. It gives you a much, much better seal than a push connect. It's not gonna leak anywhere near. You're still gonna have the wear issues on the hose if you have any rubbing, but this is not gonna leak air like these quick push connects that they give you from factory. So if you're gonna change out a line and you don't wanna change the whole nylon, you just need to change a fitting, put a compression in, spend the extra 30 seconds, you're going to save yourself a lot of headache going down the road.